Hey guys, welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. Today we're in the bunkhouse talking about a little bit of a move that we did in here. We we're running out of space, you know, headspace up on this upper bunk with that tall mattress that we had just wasn't working out anymore. And Simon's getting tall enough that when he's sitting down here on this bottom, bottom uh, dinette seat, he's almost hitting his head. So we really wanted to make it so that we could fold this bunk up again and get him more space while he's in his bed. So we're gonna show you today how we got from this to this. Now that we've made this change, Simon has plenty of room to roll around and whatever, you know, hang out up on his bed and not be so cramped in this small, small space. The other thing that we can do is we can actually lift this bunk back up again. Now, if we want to sit down as a family and play a game, we can do it at the table. You know, we can do board games, we can do card games, whatever we want at this table. And I can fit here. When we had the large, the thick mattress up on this bunk, it was just impossible literally impossible to fold this bunk up so now we're in a position where we can get back into family game night i really would like to hear what your comments are on this particular setup is this something that you would try or am i absolutely nuts for drilling and trying to put new shelving on the walls in our rv let us know in the comments down below if you think it's a good idea, also give us a thumbs up. If it's a bad idea, give us a thumbs down. I just kind of want to gauge what you guys think of this upgrade. It's, a, it's an interesting one for sure. Totally works out for us. And I look forward to hearing from you on what you think of this update. Okay, so I've cut the board here. Uh, so this is a piece of plywood, three quarter inch. I've cut it to 74 inches long by 41 and a half. Maybe we can fix that in post if that's not the right number. And then I cut a two by four also to that 74 inch length because I wanna have enough material here to put on the vertical piece like this. So I have this clamped up on this side. I don't have any more clamps so I've just stacked some books to kind of bring it together here. And on the underside I've used my favorite pocket holes so I'm going to drive some screws through these pocket holes and into the aluminum frame that is part of the original bed system. So this is just to bring the size of the bed out the size of the bed platform out just a little bit so that it fits well and doesn't interfere with the window frame over there. So I'm going to use these Craig screws. They have a really nice uh, coarse thread on them. And maybe I need to find some longer ones of these. Yeah, we'll check outside and see if we have some longer ones of these because those are a little bit shorter than I think I'd like to hold this up. Okay, on the left here, I have self-drilling, self-tapping Craig screw. It is an inch and a half long. And this is a, don't lose that. This is a one and a half inch number eight cabinet screw. I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. I do feel like the larger, the coarser thread on this one is probably going to be a little bit better for this application. So I'm going to measure out 
like every six inches or so and put one of these screws in approximately every six inches just to start to hold this um, two by four in place but uh, it'll be additionally secured in other ways so this is not going to be the only way that this gets held on so i think th i think these will work just fine for this application That's held up now. So as of right now, this frame is not connected to anything. So what I'm gonna do now is use the pocket screws so I can get this kind of as tight in to that wall, the far wall, as I can. And then we'll go ahead and screw in to the aluminum frame that's underneath using some of these Panhead Phillips sheet metal screws and that'll be enough to hold that end that's next to that wall from kind of popping up at all. All these pocket holes now are in. I cannot lift the, that up. So I think that is, it's good. Now the task going along these edges and screwing that in. I'm going to use these same screws to do that. Whoops. These screws being an inch and a half should reach down into the aluminum framing just fine and give me a nice secure fit. And just for reference number eight screws and I believe I will have to pre-drill again with that 764 bit so I can get everything secured really well Okay, good. <laughs> so the, the last major part of getting the bunk ready is to install this ladder. Got this 60 inch ladder, it's a Stromberg Carlson that I picked up on Amazon. I'll drop a link below. But we've gotta figure out how we're gonna line it up because we don't really want it to be in front of the drawers. We want him yep. to, to be able to see the television yep. when he's playing his game or whatever. So we'll do some figuring. And we'll show you how this thing gets installed. So this ladder has two sets of hooks. The first set of hooks is so that if your height is just right, you'd be able to hang this over the lip of the, of the piece. But in our situation, I'll loosen that a little bit. In our situation, that leaves the ladder not touching the floor, which is gonna be a pretty sketchy situation. I think if you had you know, a slightly shorter one, if I had used like a two by four here instead of a two by six, then it'd probably be okay. I use the two by six because we've got this thick depth bed and I wanted to have you know enough space here that it would, you know, not go flopping over the edge. I didn't like how it barely fit on this side. So I went with a two by six. If you had something a little bit shorter, I think this would be okay. But for our situation, 
I'm not gonna be able to hang it over the edge. Height just doesn't work. So this other bracket is designed to replace this. And what it does, it's a little bit shorter and a little bit different angle. What it does is allows you, and I can show you on our old ladder here, it allows you to hang the ladder on these kind of bracket things, whatever you want to call them. That keeps it, uh, you know, well aligned. So for us, I think this is going to work. Um, we've got a little bit of an obstacle course going on here with the two ladders and everything, but they're really light. You know, I can lift this up, twirl it around with one hand. I know that Simon can lift that one, so I don't see why he wouldn't be able to lift and move this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new brackets on and attach the sockets, I'll call them sockets, onto here. And we'll be about ready to move this bed over to here. Woohoo! So it does not say uh, what the weight limit is on this thing, but just for your enjoyment, take a look at how much this thing weevil wobbles as I climb up it. Right, and even I have headroom when I'm. 5'11", 5, 5, 5'12", give or take. So, <clears throat> a little bit of sawdust in my throat there. So, part of the reason that I had to do the extension here is because this bed goes straight up against the window that we put in, which I have covered with plexiglass and in there, Reflectix. Uh, the Reflectix is more for light blocking than anything, but it will also give the ability to put like a bottle of water or something next to the bed while you're uh, sleeping so that you don't have to try to climb down just to get a sip of water, which is going to be really nice. Um, with everything on here, I we're probably getting pretty close to the load capacity, it's 300 pounds load capacity for an adult to be up here um you know we got the plywood got the bed and um body weight so average male adult weight is what 180 200 pounds or so so you're probably getting to the limit of this but this is a full-size uh mattress picked up the mattress at walmart uh some time ago but I'm laying fully on the bed. Like I could technically sleep up here. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button so you can see all these other crazy mods and, and stuff that we do here on the Alcohol Free RV. And give us a comment below how you manage sleeping and growing kids in your RV. I think I'm done and I am going to take a nap. We'll see you next time.